In this tutorial, you will learn how to model a planetary gear mechanism in Blender. A simple planetary gear system consists of three components. The gear in the center is called the Sun gear. The outer gear with the teeth pointing inwards is called the ring gear. The three gears rotating around the sun gear are called planet gears, and the platform on which the planet gears are mounted is called carrier. Any of these three components can be made stationary, while the other two have an input and output shafts connected to them. In this tutorial, we will assume that the outer ring is stationary, the input shaft is connected to the sun gear, and output shaft to the carrier. Let's denote the number of teeth in the sun as S, the number of teeth in the ring as R, and the number of teeth in the planet gears as P. The three numbers must satisfy the following equation, R equals S plus 2 times P. In our example, R is 60, S is 12, and P is 24. The gear ratio of a planetary mechanism in our configuration is calculated as 1 plus R divided by S. In our example, the gear ratio is 1 to 6. Multiple planetary mechanisms can be stacked to form a compound drive. This produces a very high overall gear ratio. In this tutorial, we will be designing the planetary gear system shown here by first designing the ring and planet gears, and then the sun gear separately. We have developed an online calculator that generates tooth profile equations and other parameters for a meshing external and internal gear pair. This calculator can be found at www.vinted.com slash internal.html. In addition to entering the number of teeth in module, we will also be entering the profile shift coefficient, a parameter we did not use in our previous tutorials. When a gear has 12 teeth or fewer, the gaps between its teeth are not deep enough to accommodate the teeth of the other gear. Here, the overlaps are marked with red arrows. To fix this problem, a positive correction to the smaller gear's profile needs to be applied. The parameter controlling this correction is called profile shift coefficient and denoted by the letter X. As a result, the smaller gear's teeth become sharper and the gear itself is moved farther away from the other gear. We will be applying the profile shift coefficient of 0.5 to the ring and sun gears, while leaving the planet gears with no profile shift. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. On the numeric keypad, press 7 for the top view, and 5 for the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor for the pivot center. Go to User Preferences. On the Add-ons tab, make sure Add Mesh, Extra Objects is checked. Go to the Online Internal External Calculator at www.hotvinted.com slash internal.html. Enter 24 for external and 60 for internal number of teeth. Enter 0.5 for the internal profile shift. Press Calculate. Back in Blender. Add a new XYZ math surface object by pressing Shift A, then Mesh, then Math Function, then XYZ math surface. Copy the X and Y equations from the online calculators, external gear tooth profile boxes. Enter 0 for the Z equation. U min should be 0 and U max should be 1. Enter 10 for U step and uncheck the U wrap box. The V parameter is not used, so enter 0 for V min and V max, and 1 for V step. Press Tab to enter the edit mode, and press Remove doubles from the Tools panel. Create a mirror reflection of the curve relative to the X axis by pressing Shift D to duplicate, then S for scale 
then Y, then negative 1, then enter. In the online calculator, copy the tooth thickness at base number from the left side of the table into the clipboard. Back in Blender, rotate the curve by pressing R to rotate, then Z, then Ctrl V to use the clipboard value as the rotation angle, then enter. Select these two vertices and press F to form a tooth tip. Press AA to select everything. Press Shift D to duplicate, then R to rotate, then Z, then 15, then enter. 15 degrees is the angle between two adjacent teeth in this gear. It is calculated as 360 divided by the number of teeth. Select these two vertices, then press Shift S, then cursor to selected. Unselect the top vertex and press the spin button on the tools panel. Enter 16 for steps, and 180 for angle. Press AA to select everything, then press remove doubles. Press Shift C to return the 3D cursor to the default position. Press Shift D to duplicate, then R to rotate, then Z, then 15, then enter. Repeat with the rotation angles of 30, 60, 120, and so on until the entire outline is completed. Select everything and press remove doubles. From the information window at the top, note the number of vertices in our object, 888. Add a circle by pressing Shift A, then circle. Add 888 for vertices, and 10 for radius. Press double A to select everything, then press W and select bridge edge loops. Press E to extrude, then double Z, then 10, then enter. Select everything and press Ctrl and to fix normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Our planet gear is ready. Call it planet. For the ring gear, add a new XYZ math surface object. This time, copy the X and Y equations from the online calculator's internal gear tooth profile boxes. All other parameters are the same as before. Enter the edit mode by pressing tab. Press remove doubles. Duplicate and create a mirror reflection. In the online calculator, copy the tooth thickness at base number from the right side of the table into the clipboard. Back in Blender, rotate around the Z axis by this angle by pressing R, then Z, then Ctrl V. Connect the two rightmost vertices by selecting them and pressing F. Select everything. Duplicate and rotate around the z-axis by 6 degrees, which is 360 divided by the number of teeth in the ring gear. This time, do not use the spin tool to connect the two adjacent teeth. Just connect them with an edge by pressing F. Select, duplicate and rotate by 6, 12, 24 degrees, and so on until the entire outline is completed. Select everything and press remove doubles. According to the information window, this object has 1320 vertices. Press Shift A, and select circle. Enter 1320 for vertices. Scale it up until it fully encloses the tooth outline. Select everything, press W and select bridge edge loops. Press E to extrude, then double Z, then 10, then enter. Select everything and press Ctrl and to fix the normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Our ring gear is finished. Call it ring. In the online calculator, copy the center distance number to the clipboard. In Blender, move the planet gear along the x-axis by this distance by pressing G, then X, then Ctrl V. Press Shift S and select cursor to selected. Rotate around the Z-axis until the teeth of both gears mesh nicely. Press Shift C to return the 3D cursor back to the origin. Now let's model the Sun gear. In the online calculator, 
press reset. For the external gear, enter 12 for the number of teeth, and 0.5 for the shift profile. Any arbitrary number can be entered for the internal gear, such as 40 and 0. Then press calculate. Back in Blender, switch to layer 2 to avoid clutter. Using the equations from the online calculator, perform the same modeling procedure as with the planet gear. Our sun gear is done. Call it sun. Move the gear to layer 1 by pressing M, and selecting layer 1. Then switch to layer 1. Rotate the sun gear around the z-axis until the teeth of the sun and planet gears mesh nicely. Our design is essentially complete. The rest of the tutorial is dedicated to testing it using Blender's rigid body physics engine. To improve stability, we will give the teeth of all our gears a herringbone shape by creating a loop cut in the center and rotating it. Press Ctrl R to create a loop cut, followed by a left click, and a right click. The rotation angles are inversely proportional to the number of teeth. We will apply a negative 3 degree rotation to the sun, positive 1.5 degree rotation to the planets, and positive 0.6 degree rotation to the ring. We will also change the shape of the hole in the planet gear, from cylindrical to double conical, so that the gear is more stable when mounted on the carrier. Select the planet gear and enter the edit mode. Create a loop cut in the inner cylinder. Select the top and bottom rims. Press Shift S, then cursor to selected. Scale it down by the factor of 0.4 along the X and Y axis by pressing S, then Shift Z, then 0.4, then Enter. Press Shift C to return the 3D cursor back to the origin. Duplicate the planet gear by pressing Shift D, then rotate it around the Z axis by 120 degrees. Then do it again to create a third planet gear. Select the planet gear on top of the x-axis and duplicate it by pressing Shift D. Move it to layer 2 where we will be designing the carrier platform. Switch to layer 2. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Select top, middle and bottom tooth outlines and delete them. Select everything, press Shift S and select cursor to select it. Scale this geometry down by 0.5% along and X and Y axis by pressing S, then Shift Z, then 0.995, then Enter. Close up the top opening. Select the top rim and press E to extrude then Enter. Press Alt M and select at center. Select the bottom rim. Extrude downwards along the Z axis by 2 mm by pressing E, then Z, then negative 2. Repeat this step one more time. Close up the bottom opening by pressing E to extrude followed by Alt M. Press 1 on the numeric pad to switch to the front view. Press the Occlude Background Geometry button. Press the Face Select button. Using the box tool, select approximately one third of the faces from the left side of the lower section. Press X and select Faces, to delete them. Press Shift-C to return the cursor back to the origin. Select everything, 
duplicate and rotate the geometry by 120 degrees around the z-axis. Repeat it one more time. Switch to the edge selection mode. Select these edges and connect them by pressing F. Select the bottom loop of edges and press F. Then select the top loop and press F. Select everything and press Ctrl and to fix the normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Press the Set Origin button and select Origin to 3D cursor. Press Ctrl A and select Apply Rotation and Scale. Call this object carrier. Move it to layer 1. Switch to layer 1. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it axis. Add an empty and move it up. Call it hinge sun. Add an empty and scale it up. Rotate it around the Y axis by 90 degrees. Move it up. Call it motor. Add an empty and move it down. Call it hinge carrier. Select the cylinder called axis. Open the Physics tab. Press the Rigid Body button. Select Passive for Type. Select the Ring Gear. In the Physics tab, press the Rigid Body button. Select Passive for Type, Mesh for Shape, 0 for Margin, and 0 for Friction. Select one of the Planet Gears. Press Rigid Body. Select Mesh for Shape, and Zeros for Margin and Friction. Do the same for the two other Planet Gears, Sun Gear and Carrier. Select the empty called Hinge Sun. Press the Rigid Body Constraint button. Select Hinge for Type. Select Sun for Object 1, and Axis for Object 2. Select the empty called Motor. Press the Rigid Body Constraint button. Select Motor for Type. Select Sun for Object 1, and Axis for Object 2. Enable the Angular Motor. Select the empty called Hinge Carrier. Press the Rigid Body Constraint button. Select Hinge for Type. Select Carrier for Object 1, and Axis for Object 2. Our setup is ready. Press the Play button to start the simulation. Because of the complex shape of the carrier, the simulation runs very slowly. We are going to pause the video until the 250 frames are computed.
Our planetary gear mechanism is working as intended. And that concludes our tutorial.